Mr. Peters needs to have a urinalysis for his admission. I'll show you how to do a urine dip now. Thanks, Susie. Let's have a look at the container of dipsticks first. Have a look at the expiry date to see if we can use them. Ah, yes, here's the date. It's okay the dipsticks are okay until next month. Good, then. We can get started. Let's wash our hands and put on some gloves and an apron to protect our uniforms from splashes of urine. Take a dipstick from the container and put the lid back on. This keeps the rest of the dipsticks dry. Okay, I've done that. I've got the specimen jar of urine from Mr. Peters on the bench for you. Oh good, thanks. Now, dip the stick into the urine so all the reagent paper is completely covered with urine. That's important because the reagent paper is what gives you the result. We need to wait for the correct time before we read the results. There's a guide on the back of the container. Can you see it? I see it. Okay, I think we've waited the correct time now. What now? Just gently tap the dipstick on the piece of paper towel. Now you can hold the strip against the reference guide on the back of the container. Hold it up like this? That's right. Just make sure you hold the strip the right way up. Okay, I understand. I'll just write all the results down now. Good idea. You can throw the used strip in the clinical waste bin. You can throw the container of urine in the clinical waste bin too. We won't need it anymore. So that's all I have to do, is it? Almost all. Take off your apron and gloves and wash your hands. Then, you need to write up the result on Mr. Peter's chart. Oh yes, of course. Thanks for showing me how to do the urine dip, Susie.